In this lesson, we'll take a look at uh, logarithmic scales in the physical sciences. Now, logarithmic scales are used when the quantities and however you measure something vary greatly. Uh, for example, sound, and we'll take a look at the actual formula in the next page in example one. The way you measure, or one way to measure sound, its uh, power is the uh, in watts per square meter. And to give you an example of how much it varies from a low sound to a high, a loud sound, the threshold of hearing, which is, uh, c is considered to be zero decibels, the actual intensity of the sound is 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per square meter. Now, if I write out what that number is as a decimal, it looks like this, now, right at the top of the screen here. 1 times 10 to the negative 12 would be 0 0.000000000, there's a zero there, and then uh, watts per square meter. So that's the actual intensity of the threshold of sound, just a, a, a sound that you could just barely hear. Now if we go further up the scale to something that's fairly loud, uh, a military jet, the uh, sound is uh, 1 times 10 to the power of 2, which would be 100 watts per square meter. Now, 100 isn't really that big a number. The sounds can go up further. Uh, for example, a potentially fatal sound would be 200 decibels, which is quite a bit larger. But there is, in terms of magnitude, in terms of size, an extreme difference between a number like 100 or 1,000 and this very tiny number here. So the number, actual numbers and the way you measure the intensity of sound vary greatly, and so that's why we use a, a logarithmic scale. What the logarithmic scale, scale does, it takes that very large range of numbers and um, sort of transforms it into a more usable range of numbers. So there, instead of that large range, we go from 0 to around 200 decibels near the top. On uh, the next page in example 1, this is the actual formula. The, <laughs> the uh, difference between sound levels and decibels uh, can be found using this. So the difference in sound levels between two sounds, so we'll call them beta 1 and beta 2, is equal to 10 times the logarithm of the ratio of their intensities, and that ratio will be measured in watts per square meter. So in the first example, it says how many times more intense is a shout at 80 decibels than a whisper at 30? And so here's the formula, and the 80 and the 30 are the beta 1 and beta 2. And so when it says how many times more intense, we're actually asked to calculate this ratio, to, to determine this ratio, I2 over I1. So that's what we're solving for. And so 80 minus 30 is 50. And then if we divide both sides by 10, that would become a 5 on the left, and it would equal the logarithm of I2 over I1. Now, all these logarithmic scales we're going to take a look at are base 10. So there's actually a, a base of 10 here. So 10 raised to the power of 5 equals the ratio of I2 over I1. And so 10 to the 5th is 100,000. So the ratio, or how many times more intense the shout is than the whisper, is 100,000 times more intense in terms of the number of watts per square meter. Uh, for question B here, it says standing 10 meters from a motorcycle, so the sound is about 88 decibels. A uh, chainsaw is approximately 158 times more intense, so the number of watts per square meter would be 158 times more intense. So the 158 is actually this ratio here. And then we're asked to find what's the decibel level for uh, a chainsaw. So in the formula, the 88 would be the, uh, the lower sound, so in place of beta 1 we'll put 88, and the 158 as I said is the ratio. So we're asked to solve for B2 here, beta 2. And so take the 88 over or add 88 to both sides. That's the calculation. So if we evaluate, <laughs> excuse me, 10 log 158 plus 88, uh, we get about 110. So the uh, chainsaw would be a sound of about 110 decibels. In example 2, another example of a logarithmic scale is pH. And the way you calculate pH, and pH is a measure of acidity or uh, alkalineness or a uh, substance, is you take the concentration of hydronium ions, take the log, and then change its sign. That's what the negative means, and that, that gives you the pH. This is what the pH scale looks like. It ranges from uh, a low of about 1, and that's something that's extremely acidic, to a high of about 14, which is very alkaline. And right in the middle is uh, a pH, a neutral pH of 7. In the first example, uh, lemon juice has a pH of 2, and we're told that rainwater is, has a thousand times less the concentration of hydronium ions, and we're asked to find its pH. 
So we know the pH of lemon juice, and so we can use the formula to find what the uh, concentration of hydronium ions would be. So substituting 2 in place of the pH in the formula, and now in order to solve for the uh, concentration, I want to get rid of this negative here. So we could divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1. In e <coughs> excuse me, in either case, we'll get negative 2 is equal to this logarithm. And so again, there's a base 10 here. So 10 raised to the power of negative 2 is equal to this uh, concentration. So I'll call H1 the uh, lemon juice. And so 10 to the power of negative 2, I'm going to write that, rewrite that in scientific notation. It's 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Since these numbers can vary greatly and be really big or really small, um, I'll, uh, I'll write them generally in scientific notation. And so uh, we're told that um, the concentration for rainwater is 1,000 times less. So that's why we would take this concentration and divide it by 1,000. Now you can plug that in your calculator or uh, 1,000 is actually 10 cubed, so this is actually 10 to the power of 3 here. So you're actually dividing powers with the same base. They're both base 10. So remember, what you actually do is subtract the exponent. So negative 2 minus 3 would give you negative 5 on that 10. Or you can just, of course, evaluate that in your calculator. So that's the uh, concentration of hydronium ions in rainwater. And so to get its pH, we would take the negative log of that. Now, because this is base 10, and the base here is 10, and as long as this in scientific notation, notation has a 1 here, then when you take the logarithm of that, it actually just equals the exponent. So this whole logarithm is actually equal to negative 5, and then, of course, this changes the sign to positive 5. So that's a pattern you might see, and we can use that in B as well. So the pH of rainwater is 5. Rainwater isn't quite neutral. It is slightly acidic, so it isn't. you might expect it to be 7 but it's, uh, it is slightly acidic. In B, uh, ammonia has a concentration of hydronium ions of 1 times 10 to negative 10, so we're asked to find its pH. So basically, we just substitute the 1 times 10 to negative 10 in place of uh, the concentration. And just like before, if you take the logarithm of this, you actually get negative 10, and this changes it to positive 10, so the pH works out to be 10. So ammonia has a pH of about 10. Last example on uh, the fourth page here, the, uh, and, uh, one more logarithmic scale is the Richter scale. And this is the formula for calculating the Richter scale value of a particular earthquake. It's the logarithm of the ratio of the particular earthquake compared to a standard low-level quake. We'll call that I0 or I sub 0. And in A here, asked how many times more intense than the standard is an earthquake measuring 4.3 on the Richter scale. So here's the formula. So 4.3 is the M. And so this is a lot like the first example. We're actually asked to find this ratio, I over I0. So we're solving for that. So I over I0 would equal 10 raised to the power of 4.3, putting that back in its equivalent exponential form. And uh, 10 to the power of 4.3 is uh, 19,953. So a uh, 4.3 Richter scale earthquake would be almost 20,000 times more intense than the standard low-level quake that everything's compared to. Uh, last example here asked, what's the magnitude of an earthquake that is 10,000 times more intense than, uh, it says this uh, 1.5 magnitude 1 in Dryden, Ontario in November 2005. So it had a Richter scale value reading of 1.5. So we have to figure out what the... Uh, uh, I over I naught ratio is for this Dryden earthquake. So 1.5 is the Richter scale reading. So to solve for that one, for I over I naught, it would equal 10 to the power of 1.5. Now, uh, let's take a look at this one 10,000 times more powerful. So in that formula, um, the one we're taking a look at, it's 10,000 times more than this ratio, this ratio here. So the I over I naught here refers to uh, this 10 to the power of 1.5 because it's 10,000 bigger than that one. So I'll substitute the 10 to the power of 1.5 in place of the I over I naught. And so this becomes a calculator exercise. Evaluate 10 to the power of 1.5 and multiply it by 10,000. And that's uh, 316,228. So if we take the logarithm of this, we get about 5.5. So this earthquake would have a magnitude of 5.5 on the Richter scale that's 10,000 times bigger than this one.
Notice that 10,000 actually has four zeros in it because it's 10 to the fourth. And if you add 4 to the 1.5, you actually get that value. That actually works because everything's base 10 here. And that's the end of the lesson.